there are two ways we can create whatsapp flows one is without endpoint another one is with endpoint in previous tutorial i have covered with endpoint right how we can get the data and share the data via the whatsapp flow endpoint but here the second one if you take the second example under that uh, with endpoint pass data when sending the request this title make a confusion in your mind that because if you read the title pass data to with endpoint flow without endpoint so let's see the demonstration you will get that clear idea about it i am going to the whatsapp flow i just click create flow so with endpoint i choose whatever i want so i just keep it as the first one or whatever i am going to name this flow and the categories i just choose other and i just click create so i don't want this one uh, so i delete and paste my own data and click run this is only having one screen that's called friends screen id is friends so once i click this drop down name one name two name three that is coming from this one right name one name two and name three so i am going to give a idea about this structure so here i mean if you are passing any data especially like if you are using any flow with endpoint you should have to mention data api version so i have covered all the json structure about this uh, flow in one of my video that is uh, this one flow json intro so you can watch that one so screen so screen id it's friend friends so screen id is friends so friends having one empty array in their routing order which means this is only having one screen so if you have multiple screen you should have to add the second screen here right so i just minimize this one so this is only having one screen right so here you need to understand one thing this data which means this friend screen data is a object data object which contains friend list object right so this is object and uh, this is array right so this curly braces represent the object in the json structure type is array okay that's fine and items items is the object so id is a string as usual the title also string in overall friend list is the array so which array items array object of this properties what is this id title in this uh, right example if you click this flow this is friend list right this is friend list if you click this one this will go to the all the items in the drop down right so you can see id and title so this id is this one right so string and this is string this is layout and this layout like a single column layout and type label name data source in the data source we are mentioning we want to fetch the data for this drop down from this data dot friend list so this data is this one data dot friend list this one so where we are passing this uh, data for this friend list is in example if you are using any of the flows the only way we can pass the data is passing via the flow endpoint so i can send this one because i need to set up this one i just click setup so here i need to place the endpoint url because of that what i have done is so i just run the server in my local host 3000 so this is about strategic git project so you can use whatever the project here i have used pingy.io so those who don't know what is pingy.io like for example uh, if you go to that uh, pingy.io official site you have to mention the port number so here my local was running on 3000 i need to forward this 3000 to a global so i just copy this one so if i run this command that will give a global url there are two urls here one with http another one with https so you should have to take the https one paste this one and if you working with any of the what started git project you know we should have to put slash flow so i just submit this one click next and connect the meta app i i choose the meta app and i submit this one in the next i should have to give the run check but i don't want to do that because uh, this is for another project because this configuration is different in the dnb but for me i want to give a one url that's all i just click done so now if you click this one you can able to send this flow if you send this flow what will going to happen is this drop down takes this value but in my case what i want to do is i want to pass the data then sending the request so i'm going to the postman and you can see this is a request guys interactive type is a flow and body is a make friends and the footer this is optional one and you should have to care about this one right the action name is a flow i need to mention this flow id right flow id 
this is a friend list i just copy the id and i am going to replace this one with my current flow id and that's all uh, make sure to put the mode as draft then only you can able to send because we haven't published this flow right you can see this is still in the draft mode because of this you should have to add this mode as draft that's all flow action is navigate and here flow action payload so in the flow action payload i have mentioned the screen as friends so if you go to here i just click this uh, flow screen is friends so after that i just open a uh, object the name is data and after that i mentioned the friends list so which is coming from this one and after that i have mentioned this type of structure because this is only acceptable right so here like i just put like uh, my my name prasad so i am going to send this one i receive the message in my mobile phone so this is still in the draft mode in some use cases you don't want to get the data from the flow endpoint sometimes you need to send the flow from your code for the individual user so in that case what you can do is you can use this kind of setup so this is works very fine guys and moreover this bot strategy is going so viral so i am very happy with that so those who don't know what is bot strategy so if you want to create any kind of application within minutes or hours you can use this one to create whatsapp cloud api bot or any kind of application and that's all guys and if you like this uh, channel and please make sure to go to my channel and subscribe it and thank you so much mm -hmm.